guys, today I'm doing a tutorial on this look. It's using a couple different um, products that I picked up recently in uh, Sephora hauls. I used the Gwen Stefani palette, a new Burberry eyeshadow I picked up. I think it was in my last Sephora haul uh, that I talked about it. My Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. Um, I don't know, just like kind of a mix of different things that I've been trying out lately. And I hope you enjoy this video. And if you want to see how to get this look, then keep watching. Alright, so I've already done my foundation. Today I used the Nars Sheer Glow in Gobi, and then I also did my brows with the Brow Wiz in Taupe from Anastasia, and primed my eyes with MAC Painterly, and then set it with some Laura Mercier um, translucent powder. So I'm going to just start with my eyes, and today I want to use the, mostly use the Gwen Stefani palette, and I'm going to go first in with the shade Danger, and I'm just using um, my favorite little fluffy crease brush, and this is from Pure Minerals. Right, so I'm going to go in pretty heavily with that just in the crease to start with making a transition for the rest of the colors to blend into. I think I'm going to get pretty dramatic with my look today, or at least dramatic for me. I kind of feel like using some burgundies. Now I'm going to go in with the shade right next to it, and it's called 1987 right here with the same brush, um, but I'm going to keep it a little closer to the crease instead of blowing it out as high. I'm gonna zoom y'all in just a little bit more so y'all can see better. Better than better. Maybe it's a little better. For the eye look today, I wanna go in with a burgundy lid. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Punk, which is the deep uh, burgundy color that's up in the top corner of the Gwen Stefani palette, um, all over my lid. And then I'm gonna use, um, I don't know, I might use a different brush and then start blending it up into the crease. This is like a really deep dark brown kind of burgundy color. I may should have used like Bitten from Makeup Geek instead, but I don't know, this might work. I'm being pretty messy right now. I'm trying to kind of keep it contained, but um, I'm actually going to go and nail with a Morphe 440, yeah, 433. Um, it's a lot like the MAC 217. And then letting that up into the crease a little more. Try not to get too high with it though. Alright, and yeah, you can kind of see it's really kind of patchy looking, so I'm gonna go back in with that really light shade Danger and try to blend out those edges. Alright, now I'm gonna work on cleaning up the brow bone area and where the it all blends in together. And so I'm gonna get in with the shade blonde and I'm going to mix it a little bit with skimp and just put that right at the brow bone. I'm going to go in with the Burberry eyeshadow in Mulberry and I'm going to use that same brush I used for um, the dark burgundy color earlier. I'm going to just place that pretty much right on top but mostly focused on the lid. You can see I'm getting some fallout but this is why I didn't do my concealer yet. To add a little bit more emphasis to that color, I'm going to spray on um, the Sony Kashuk flat brush um, with some MAC Fix. Um, go back into the Burberry eyeshadow. These are meant to use wet or dry, so it shouldn't affect the um, formula any. I just put that mostly focused on the center of the lid. Now I'm going to go in with some concealer and clean up the look and then I'll be back to do the lower lash line. So I just finished my concealer. I used the uh, It Cosmetics by My Under Eye in neutral medium. Um, just kind of more on the inner parts where it's really blue because it's a really peachy um, concealer and I'm pretty yellow toned at the moment. Um, and then I also went in for the rest of my concealer with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in porcelain. 
Um, this left a lot of chunks. I don't know if it's just gotten old. It's only like maybe two months old. It's really not old at all. And this says it lasts for 18 months. Um, but it, yeah, it's gotten like, it was really chunky and had like little specks that I couldn't get blended out. So if it shows up, I'm sorry. Um, and then I just set my concealer with the Laura Mercier powder and my beauty blender. And then I wiped off the excess um, using the Hourglass Diffuse Light and then this little Sephora brush. I just kind of like tapped it in and use that just to try to brush everything off. Um, so now I'm going to do the lower lash line of my eye makeup. So I'm first going to go in with this um, It Cosmetics brush number 220. This is my favorite brush for starting um, the lower lash line. It just is amazing. It's kind of like I, it's like the MAC 217 for your lower lash line is what I think of it. So um, I'm going to just go back into that shade Danger that I used earlier and I'm gonna just put that all down across um, my lower lash line and I'm not gonna do a very um, well I say I'm not I'm gonna try to keep it all pretty tight to the lash line because I kind of like this um, like sharpness that's going um, and I kind of like I don't know I kind of want to keep it close I normally don't do that too much all right now I'm gonna go in with um, just this little brush, and I think it's just like a crown brush I got from this set, and I'm gonna go into the shade Punk and just use that on the, um, mostly like down here, mostly outer corner, ignore my nails, uh, mostly on the outer corner. I'm going back with that it cosmetic brush and I'm actually going to go into the shade 1987 just to kind of blend that out just a little bit. Right. For inner corner highlight I'm using the Real Techniques accent brush and I just dip this into the bath water shade and then I'm going to spray it uh, with Fix Plus. It kind of helps in my mind keep it from um, getting the actual pan wet and it only gets the eyeshadow um, on the brush. So I'm gonna just put that on both the inner corners. I'm keeping it pretty close to the inner corner. I'm not building it out too much. Great, and then I'm gonna go over it with backwater again, but this time I'm not gonna wet it. For mascara, I'm going to go into the lower lash lines with my um, Lash Discovery Mascara. Um, for my upper lashes, I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl Plumpify Blast Pro. The newer one, it has a humongous, you see that, humongous wand. Uh, but it really separates your lashes, uh, which I like before I use false lashes. Um, today I'm going to do a little bit of cream bronzing and cream contour. So I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit in the shade Light. Um, and then I'm using this little e.l.f. contour. Um, I really like this one for the cream because it's a synthetic brush and it seems to do really well with these cream products. Um, so I'm going to use this one right here. It's uh, Havana, I believe. Um, and so I like to warm it up with my finger a little bit first. Um, just because it doesn't seem to do very well just straight with the brush kind of softens the product up a little bit. So I'm gonna just kind of stamp it where I want it. Whatever's left on the brush, I'm using on um, my eye temples and like the upper area. And I'm mostly, I'm really just kind of wanting to bronze up the face today. I'm not wanting to super duper contour it.
Just to help uh, finish blending out, this is just a MAC brush. It's the 125 SE, so it's synthetic on one side and then it's uh, natural hair on one. So I'm gonna just use a synthetic side to kind of help blend this out. And then to set it, I'm gonna just kind of go over with NARS Laguna Bronzer and this is the MAC 135 brush. Just kind of do it all over the brush. I'm gonna dust off the excess on my hand. I'm just kind of going with a really light hand with this. I'm so pale. <laughs> Using um, the Deep Throat blush from the same palette. This is like an older blush palette from NARS, but both of these products you can buy individually. Or they'll probably be in another palette like this. Um, I know there's one available right now, but I'm not sure what all shades are in it. Right, for highlighter today, I'm going in with, this is the Little Bitty Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in the shade Bronze, but I'm just going to use that top couple of them, but mostly focusing on that top bar right there. And just hitting the top of the cheekbones. And my bronzer brush, I'm going to just kind of pick up a couple of the shades from the bottom. I'm going to just go over some of the bronzer areas very lightly with that nail. Just add a little extra glow everywhere. All right, today for lips, I'm going to use the NYX Retractable Lip Pencil in the shade Vanilla Sky. And I'm going to just um, outline the lips and then I'm going to slightly fill them in just a little bit to help um, the lipstick and the lip liner blend in together. Okay, I'm going to go in with Blankety from MAC. For gloss, I'm using the new uh, Peach Daiquiri uh, Buxom Gloss, mostly just in the center. Alright, and this is the final makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more videos from me, then please subscribe, and please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks!